Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to add flourishes to your writing in Cricut Design Space. Adding these fun accents can really step up your projects and it's super simple to do. The key to adding accents is in your font choice. Not all fonts have flourishes built in, but there are lots that do. I'll show you how to find out which ones do and how to access them. Today I'm working on a PC. If you're using a Mac or an iPad, just click on one of these links to switch over to my other videos for the platform that works for you. Unfortunately, you can't just use the fonts in Design Space. You'll need to download a few new fonts to make this work. There are lots of different websites where you can do this. The one I'll show you today is defont.com. If you haven't used this website before, there are lots of fonts to choose from, and there are categories at the top to make them easier to find. The category that I would recommend for checking out fonts that have flourishes and accents is under script, right here in calligraphy. Now you can just scroll down and find a style you like. Some styles will have flourishes, like this little heart in the middle, or when you scroll down, you will notice that lots have tails at the beginning and end of the word, like on Joseph Sophia or hello. Find one that you want to use for your project. Let's go with Joseph Sophia, then click on download. You can see the download at the bottom left of your screen, so I'll just click on that folder. There are two different file extensions that are used for fonts. The ones you're looking for either end with OTF or TTF. Sometimes the fonts include both options, in which case you can use either one because they will both work the same for our purposes. So just click on one of those and then click on install. Wait until you're done downloading your fonts and then open up Cricut Design Space. Start out by clicking on text. I'll keep it simple today and put in welcome. Now let's change this font to the one we just downloaded, Joseph Sophia. Up on the top, you will see the fonts are broken into headings. The Cricut based fonts are in the first category. You will find yours in the second category, System. Click on that and you can search the font that you're looking for up here. If you ever try to find your font, but you don't see it there, close Design Space and reopen it again. When the program restarts, it will include your new fonts. So far, this looks pretty plain. So now I'll show you how to spruce it up and replace the W and the E with the fancier ones. At the bottom of your screen on the menu toolbar, click on the magnifying glass. Now type in character map in the search bar. Here it is. Character Map is an app that's built into your computer, and as you can see here, it has all of your fonts that are on your computer compiled into one convenient location. Using the drop down menu, you can look up any font that's on your computer and see all of the regular and special characters that that font has. Let's find Joseph Sophia. As I scroll down, you can see that all the standard letters are here. But when I keep scrolling, there are three other special sets of letters that have flourishes attached to them as well. There is this cute set with the hearts, and then there are the flourishes in front and behind each letter as well. These are super easy to bring into Design Space. Just click on the character you want to use, and then click on Select. I want to find the W with the tail in front. It will show up in this little box, so all I have to do is press copy. Then I'll go back into Design Space and delete the W. Now I can paste the new W into its place. How easy was that? I'll repeat the process with the E. I'll just go back into the character map and find the E with the tail behind it. Here it is. So I'll press select and copy, go back into design space, 
and press paste. This looks great and was super simple to do. Now I will show you how to do the hearts between names. Let's go with Jack and Sally for today's tutorial. Now I'll head back into the character map. There are quite a few fonts with these cute little hearts to connect words. You can use these the exact same way. Just find the letter you want to use, for me it's this K, and copy and paste it in. It's okay how it is now, but I think it would look better if we do the J and Y as well. Repeat the same process, just copying and pasting these letters into Design Space. These names and heart glyphs are really popular, and they sell well for making gifts and signs for weddings. I love how these both turned out, and these are only using one font. There are tons of other font options out there to play with as well. Now, before you go and give this a try, there is one more thing I need to tell you. The font that you copied and pasted from from Fontbook needs to be the same font that you're using in Design Space. If you forget, which will likely happen at some point, you'll go over to Character Map and find the glyph that you want to use. But when you go to copy and paste it, it will look like this. There will be boxes where the letters with the flourishes should be. This is an easy fix though. Just change your font in Design Space so it matches the font that you copied from in the character map. Now that you know how to bring over the glyphs, I'll show you a few of my favorite fonts to help get you started. I like Adelia because it has a few different styles of accents. Hello Honey and Joseph Sophia both have hearts and little tails. Samantha is skinny and flowy, and Love is bold and curvy. Well, there you have it. Now you can add flourishes and accents to your writing like a pro. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. Also, if you have a favorite font with flourishes, drop it in the comments below. I would love to check it out.